trees inside of me In this dance that I can look at you with love Seeing all that I can learn Can you stay and I will grow Okay, um, we went out grocery over uh, in Ramland, which was about an hour and a half away. Um, they had rollback on ham. So what I'm doing right now, I thought I would just throw a little video out there. And uh, what I'm going to do with this ham is uh, portion it off. Uh, some for like Canadian bacon, I can fry it for breakfast for the husband. Uh, some of it's going to get... Um, processed with a little bit of relish and mayo for sandwich spreads. Some of it is going to go to what I'm making now, which is uh, green or split pea soup. And um, I'm going to make uh, bean and bacon soup. Um, Two that I already tried on my husband, and he absolutely loves it. So I kind of went backwards on this. This is uh, this is the meat for uh, from around the bone, which I'm going to use for the split pea. It really doesn't need a ham bone, but I'm going to save the ham bone for uh, the the great northern beans here. Um, tastes much better. But anyways, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm taking advantage. This is the uh, knuckle bone right here. Look how big that is. It's big and juicy. It's got a lot of good fat on there. That's going into the uh, bean soup. This would be a hearty winter soup. Okay, I finished, and this is what we got. Right here. We have sliced, uh, portioned off uh, for Canadian bacon, fried bacon, bacon and eggs. Or not bacon, but ham and eggs. Um, if I want sandwiches, these are all sliced pieces. And then I've got the cube pieces for either soup or casseroles or whatever else I want to use that for. And um, this is the soup bone and some of the fat pieces, some of the meat around the meat bone, which is great for a soup, which I plan on making next couple days. And that's it. More later. And here is the pea soup. Very good. Tastes delicious.